thing. Whenever it comes, it's true what we think that it comes, like what we are thinking at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of wants wants us to trigger. So at that point, whenever you give in to to temptation, be like, okay, I just want to be okay. Let me just do things that I've been doing before, and I can always go back to God. Man, it's, it's like you are you are dragging yourself back. Hey guys, how you doing? How how was your day? Happy Sunday and welcome back to our channel so we are going to continue from where our fellow friends stopped from so that's talk on judgment and we are going to talk about judgment on comparison and we are going to talk about judgments on our past being judged by our past so i would like to talk to my friend she what's up it how you doing Steven, hi, 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 guys, hi, doing? So, talking about comparison, what did you understand with your life experience and comparison? For me, though, I feel like comparison is a bad thing. Though. As far as black Christians, we're supposed to be like Christ, not the other way around. You know, I used to ask this. I used to ask this question, like. We believers, who are we after the church? Who are we after the church? All this comparison of it, I think it's like very, very common. But yes, we didn't be believers or no believers, actually. We didn't think, yes, it's so common. But as for me, though, comparison is a very, very bad thing because I believe that one thing first, the world is perfect. We are trying to be perfect. So, in our process of trying to be perfect, we can make mistakes. Yes, we can make mistakes. So, nobody is perfect. So, I feel like Anybody that is doing anything called comparison to stop it. One. So, Faith, what do you understand by comparison? And Stephen, all of us are going to talk because mm -hmm. I feel that comparison is in a broad place. Like, it relates to spirituality, it relates to academic life, it relates to businesses, it relates to your music life as a musician. Because me too, I'm a musician too, so it relates to everything of our lives that being on this earth, it relates to its comparison because it's it's comparison leads to pride. You get that's where pride comes in. That's where like this one does he you know, for example, all of us here are students. When it comes to academic aspects, ah, so no savvy book. We they bring this guy and this guy together. As far you, I savvy and me two or three. You as a BM two one. Um, there's difference, there's levels. This guy we're not in the same level. I mean three hundred level and four hundred level. Guys give me that respect. You yeah. get that kind of thing. It doesn't work that way. You get. So I would like you to share your life with this. Uh, comparison. <laughs> comparison. Why I understand what comparison is like it's like comparison is like let me use the word work in here. Like we are still comparing. Mm -hmm. We are comparing ourselves with other people. But in this manner, we're we 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 like um let's say we are underwriting or looking down on the other like the other part of yeah. So what I feel is comparing ourselves, like trying to just look down on people and I don't know. To me it's not that it's not that nice. Like whenever, whenever we see ourselves, whenever we rule with people, we should try and we should try and not just put up because there are some times that we might need to learn some things from them. Yes. Yet there are some times that we just put down and just see, okay, I'm more than this person. Like I can do this, I can do that. And what does this person mean? Forget that he knows this. Forget that he knows that. You just forget that he knows some little some little things that you may even learn from or you might gain from person you understand you just look down person so what you should do is whenever you meet people whenever you wherever wherever you find yourself always try not to like always try and be positive it's the way you think about people whenever you meet people always be have this um Always have it in your mind that you want to gain something mm -hmm. from someone, mm -hmm. uh, from anybody. Don't 
don't it could even be someone that you can be very yeah yes you know but then so i'm pertaining to um yeah i'm a musician so whenever whenever i go to play somewhere sometimes i may just see someone i will just be like this guy cannot do anything no don't don't look at me but I don't know. I'm, I'm not bad. I'm, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not. I'm not really good. Okay. And I'm. Don't look at me as a bad person in that um, situation scenario. Like I might just go somewhere now to play. Then I see someone, probably a young musician. And I'll just be like, what does this guy want to play? And he just shocked me. The guy starts playing all your keys, and I'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll, I'll be like, I need to work on myself, I need to do this. I think in that way, in that way, I sh the, my first thought, like, the way I saw the person at first, has brought me down. In fact, going to meet the person, my, I may not really be able to go to meet the person. But whenever I see someone, I'll be like, ah, this guy might be good, this guy, I, he might want to do something. It could be, you just, just have in mind that this person, yeah, this person can be anybody, yeah. you know, stand so that's, that's, Thank that's, you very much. so. Steve, bless you. Well, for me, on comparison, it's a very important topic, I'd say, because um, as like, while I was growing up up to the point I am now, I've been compared to lots of different people that I was in school, in music, and oh, that my whole life, literally. But what I've seen about comparison and comparing people is that um, with people, um, I'd say each life a person has, like every life is a story. Mm -hmm. you know, if you look at the Bible, you see um, stories of people, um, both people that did good things and um, succeeded in serving God and people that failed. But all those stories end up in the Bible, you see yeah. both of them. So I feel like each person's life has a unique path, a unique story God's trying to tell each person. Like like, write, like a song, you can't expect every song to have the same lyrics or the same feel. So each person's life has a way it goes, but when you're trying to make a different song you can you compare to, you can compare the mix to other songs and be like what can i get from here and here so comparing in that sense where you're trying i believe is it, you should use it to learn from other people like when you're comparing like this guy is bad look how this guy is doing he's doing like um i'm going to musical them so don't confuse of yours but when you see this person do something here and be like this guy is good you can carry that piece that you saw him do and add it slowly and make yourself better so, so when you see someone that's not doing as good as you, or when someone sees you, the best way to handle it is like, if there's something they can do to help you, or you could do to gain from the person as well. That's how I'd hand, like, you should handle comparison, like, because something like in school now, I say someone is good in um, academics, and both this guy is spiritual and that person, I know exactly from the same place. You could try and work, like, you make, you gotta make the person to learn more from them because Different people have different talents. Like me personally, I know I can draw and do stuff like that. Calculate, yeah, programming, Yeah, we'll meet. We'll meet. Just wait. But other from things from like let's see, <laughs> when it comes to how do I say things like I'm an engineering student, but physics is just not my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> nobody likes it. So I want someone that has, that has knowledge of physics, and that person will help me to become better. So that's how we should handle comparison, not looking down on people. But um, gaining what we can and also trying to give what I So, this what is said now just actually <clears throat> brought me to this story. It's very common. We read the book of Luke, Mark, when they were talking about the history of Jesus Christ. There's this particular part, um, Bible story I like in that, in that chapter. It's that Mark on Luke. So, like, one Sabbath day, Jesus Christ healed someone that is sick, and the Pharisees were like, Why will you eat this person during Sabbath day? Why will you do that? Why will you do this? We're a friend of sinners. We mostly see you with um with sinners. We mostly see you with all these people outside. Like they said that's where the comparison of like spirituality came in. Because the Pharisees are how do I call it? How do I call it? They are Bible scholars in quotes. They are professors in quotes. Like nobody can argue Bible with them. They, nobody can argue you know, with them. They will finish you. And Jesus Christ was how do I call it? An assistant, like a small boy. Like he doesn't have the certificates yet. Uh he's just a, he just maybe they can just call him that. Okay, read this scripture for us. So so, so thing. And when he started, when he started his work, 
and they noticed that ah, when did he start doing all this on Sabbath day? Because they say the um, Sabbath day is meant to meant for holy God in quotes. That's what people said. Like he is meant for God, no job, nothing, nothing. And Jesus actually went to go and walk. Like he went to go and do his work. That like, this person is sick. I need to heal this person. And you are telling me not to do, uh, not to heal the person. He said, in that, in Jesus now said in, 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 in a word, he said, if an ox or a lamb fall into the well, won't you not go and pick the well? Won't you not go and pick the ox? So he was telling them that even though this person is sick, can't you not still heal the person, even though it's Sabbath day? And this is where god wants everybody to be everybody wants to be god wants everybody to be on the same level not you looking at this person that i have spirituality more than you you are nobody you are not thank you for that part like i think we have learned easily from what they have said so now you also do something no you should be all our past nobody's perfect you remember born this, nobody was born in the holy home and the only trans day life is not possible so what do you have to say about those about people probably like people or unbelievers that you know they judge with your past you all have our past yes and i feel like we shouldn't do any it but what do you think that we should like you know we should do about those people that judge us probably okay now for example not really really like, probably like for example i i, I was I, I am i am Instagram Twitter. Hmm. Before, before God took control of my life. And then of course our friends that are still doing involved in it. And imagine me trying to preach all of God to those friends and they're like, babe, you guys should change and they're like you. Wait, they do what they you know the kind of situation yeah, like, you so wait they do what they do. You wait they do something. Yeah. But that situation, you know, at that point I will get disappointed. So for me to go out to people, to talk to people, I won't be able to cause of shame of what I've done in the past. What do you I tell people that this is not me anymore. I am a new person, a changed person. I'm trying to like, what's it called? And you get a thinking of that same thing again. Here's my next I would say, um, I have two places to refer to in scripture. Um, you know, what you what said about what you do and as, how you become like a new person. Mm -hmm. By their works, you shall know them. Like, the things you do will show them that you're different. Like, my friends I had back then and now, they literally see the things I do and be like, yeah, I'm definitely the same person. I was back then. And about handling situation, I look at Paul for example. It was not just people that were um that were back there in the world with him that were judging him. He had judgment from the Pharisees and people that he was working for to go and slaughter the um, Christians. He had judgment from the Christians who was saying that I can't believe that God sent you to us. The same man that was trying to kill us is coming here to tell us that God has saved his life. They didn't want to believe in me. He had to meet some Peter, I think one of those apostles or one of them was um one of them healed him, like so. We want the apostle that were him there in um, a place where he got kind of like this, like that, you know. So, <laughs> um, one of them helped him and showed him that yes, Paul is actually with us. So, he's not actually handy, he just, he just felt like I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm not the person I was before, he just showed them and let it happen. Thank you very much. Enough. 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 Of course, like your like, like, like I said, you, I, me going back to probably like going back yeah, to my okay. Instagram take me after okay. after you know that like, I can actually do a uh, bed now the word of God. If it's yeah, the word of God, I bed. Okay. And still going back to it again. Temptation can actually cause it. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? Like okay. the person should know. <laughs> 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 no. So what, what I feel is is with the word of God. Like to me, what um something about sin. Whenever it comes. Is through what we think that it comes, like what we are thinking at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's, it's kind of wants yeah. wants us to trigger. trigger like, yeah, yeah, so mm. we can we can always. <laughs> 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 so at that point, whenever you give in to okay. to temptation, at that point, whenever it just whenever it comes, I just be like, okay, I just want to be okay. Let me just do the things that I've been doing before, and I can always go back to God. Man, it's, it's like you are, you are dragging yourself back, yeah, something yeah, like that. Going back to your it's your like you're about to take a step forward, then, then, back, then back yeah, you, now, you you fall into the temptation, then you ask God for forgiveness. Okay. You, nah, it's like you, if you continue mm -hmm. like that, you're going yeah, to just be on that, yeah, on that point, you're just going to be around. 
Kwanji Mbak, like that. So, what I feel we should do is, with the word, word of God, we should always put the word of God in our hearts. I think there's this Bible verse that says, um, the word is enough. Yeah, 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 that part. Psalm 119, Psalm 119, verse 105. So, I want us to check that part of the Bible. So, not just check that part of the Bible, know what well, it means. means. Yeah, understand check, it understand it, means. then walk towards it. Walk towards studying the word of God. Walk towards reading the Bible and just know what it says about you. What because from the word of God uh, that you learn what to do. You learn what you you it will kind of control your mind, your mindset, when you yes. think. Your so mind. yeah, exactly. Uh, Romans 4 verse 1 and 2. So you should check that that part of the Bible too. Okay. So that's what helps actually. Right. Since you're a new creature, you should. And if you want to dwell in the word, just go to Joshua 1 verse 8. He says, yeah. This book of the Lord shall not depart from my mouth, and thou shalt meditate on it day and night, yes. and thou shalt do whatever is written in it, so that my days shall be prosperous. And he, David said in, in the book of Psalm, He said, That word have I hidden in my heart, so that I might not sin against you. So, how do I call it? In that kind of situation, it's only the word of God that can use to set yourself free. You get yeah. So, thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you very much. Everything is well said, actually. We're all believers, so yeah. Have you? We're children yeah. of God. We are children. But oh, that doesn't mean that she, after this night, she's not going to be doing something that is powerful. Mm. Let's check First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 14. It says, okay. Even so, as the Lord ordained that the which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. We preach the gospel. They get. I'm talking to yeah. all of us. I'm not talking to myself. Please let us live by the gospel. Do you get? Let's live by the gospel. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Love you.